If uh, that's making too much noise, tell me next time. Hey, everybody. Captain E here for you for another Jump Force episode review. Not a review, but let's get it. So, I'm thinking, so Season 3 hasn't been confirmed yet for Jump Force. People are saying it probably will be because they're making a lot of money off of the seasons. Makes a lot of sense. Last two characters, we already know it's going to be Yurichi and Giorno. After that, who knows? If they do make it Season 3, I don't know how many characters it would be because the first season was 9. Then they bumped it down to 5. So, I don't know if they're going to bump it down again to like 3. Which would be wild. I lost the point. Maybe they'll go back to 9 or maybe they'll do like maybe 7. But who knows? These are just some characters I will like. So, if they do... so. This season, season two, they didn't bring back the big three. But if they do, I would like for for the Dragon Ball character, for Broly. Now, there was like this theory that each series want to get two villains. Because when Majin Buu came out, Dragon Ball had Frieza and Cell on a base roster. Two villains. And obviously, Kid Buu is more popular than Big Fat Good Buu. But they chose to go with Big Fat Kid Buu. Somebody pointed out, hey, they have two villains in the third villain, they use the good version. So there's probably like a two villain limit. If that's the case, then I'm going to say they're going to go with Sakura. Because that's going to, you know, complete Team 7. And, you know, got Hikashi and the whole group together. I thought they put her in the base roster. But, hey, you know, that would complete Team 7. And they have the girl character on the season. Because they want to add a bit more girls. Hey, we're good with Gucci. But if that's not the case, like the villain thing. They're most likely going to add Pain, since he's really popular. The most popular villain besides, like, Madara. So, but if not those two, I could probably see, if not, like, Mike Guy or Rock Lee, probably Minato. Minato would probably be, like, the most best bet for Naruto. If it's not Sakura, Pain, Mike Guy, or Rock Lee, probably going to be Minato. But I'm going to say they're probably going to go with Sakura if they don't do a villain or all those other characters that get named. Probably Sakura. Now, the other character I had for Dragon Ball. Wait. Oh, wait, no. <laughs> I, uh, I said Naruto. I, yeah, I, went on. I didn't do Dragon Ball either. Yeah, no, sorry. I was, I was so confused. I remember I was doing Dragon Ball, and I switched to Naruto, so Sakura. If they do Dragon Ball, I'm going to say Broly. Now, Broly, he technically was a villain, but now he's like a good guy now with the new super version. So, and they're using, like, super, they're, not, they're not using the Pacific Super Go, Goku and Vegeta, but they do have, like, super stuff, like Super Saiyan Blue and stuff. So, I'm like, okay, they, they could put a super villain, I mean, a super person in that. So, I'm like, they could put Super Broly in there. Broly is a pretty big character, but he ain't as big as, like, I don't know, like, Togoro. I mean, maybe he, he probably might be as big as Togoro, but he'll look pretty cool in the game. His ultimate, probably on the screen, can't transform into the legendary Super Saiyan, like, Broly would be dope in this game. They do a dragon another girl sorry. If they do another Dragon Ball character, I'm gonna say Broly, which is kinda on the fence because I'm like he was a villain but now he's not. If it's not Broly, a lot of people were saying Gohan. I'm like that's kinda like just a Goku. I don't know. I mean I know it's not but it's kinda like a Goku. If not Gohan or Broly probably Beerus. I could see Beerus or Whis. Probably most likely Beerus. Or, no, they got two villains already, so they're not going to do Jiren. Yeah, so probably Beerus. Probably might do Beerus. Other than that, I don't really know who else they would do for Dragon Ball. Yeah, I really don't. All right. So let's move on to One Piece. Obviously, got to bring my boy Katakuri in there. Now, I was kind of on the fence with Katakuri, because I was like, Huge characters is already a problem in Zone Force for like how do you when you fight you can't really see the other player or when the end of screen happened when you win a battle that's so big that it cuts the head off sometimes or sometimes the camera pans up to see the whole body sometimes it doesn't so I was like Kyle Curry he is way taller than everybody in Zone Force he's like nine foot almost so I was like oh, that'll be a really big problem unless they shrink him down that would be a really good problem I mean a really bad problem so. I would really love to have Katakuri. It's just that height. Unless they shrink him down, the height thing is going to get annoying. So I'm like, who else could they do? I was thinking probably Doflamingo for the other villain. That would be really dope. I was like, I was thinking the Admirals. I was like, nah, Kuzan. He's not really an Admiral or villain anymore. But he would be pretty cool to have in the game. But we already got enough Ice characters. 
Chizaru would be pretty cool, but I doubt it. Aka Inu, he was in the last game, but hey, you know, they do bring some villains back from the last game like they did with Madara. So hey, they can do that. Plus, there's nobody that mainly does lava. I don't think anybody does lava. Besides, I think Miriam, his ult, at the very end, like when the explosion happened, it was like lava. Yeah, but <clears throat> I don't know. So y'all can see Aka Inu or Doflamingo. Probably most likely Doflamingo if not Kata Curry. I would say Kaido, but he He'll break the game. Kaido will break the game. I'm sorry. They could not do Kaido. Kaido will break the game. Uh, he was so break the game. And other than that, I mean, I was the, like some people. I was I was thinking like another straw hat. I don't know who. Jimbe. I don't know yet. Maybe Jimbe. I could kind of see Frankie. Some people were saying Nami. Or I was like, eh, Nami. Like, I, I really like Nami. But I was like, Jump Force. Eh. I mean, maybe you want that girl character. I could see Nami. I don't know. Robin Chopper. Not Usopp. They would not do Usopp, no. It's not that, like, he's a bad character. Just, you know, <clears throat> it's not even like a gun. He just does. Yeah, I, I couldn't see him doing it. Not Usopp. So, it was another star hat. It's either Nami or Frankie. A villain. Either Katakuri or Doflamingo. Since Katakuri is so tall, I could see Doflamingo more. And if somebody else, probably Akainu. That's for my One Piece. <clears throat> now, for my hero. Sorry, I already know I'm not going to play the reform. For my hero, I was thinking they were. They had two characters in the first pass. One character in the second pass. I doubt they're going to bring them back for the third pass. But if they do, hey, if they do, <clears throat> I would love. You already know. I would love to have Kirishima in this game. Kirishima would be so dope in this game. And, you know, he doesn't even have to have, like, a frenzy meter. I was like, you can just have him harden throughout his combo or like his heavy combo, and then some of his um, moves can have him hardening, and then he'll go full body hardening, you know, unbreakable in his alt. But you know, he'll mainly be in his base form throughout the whole thing, so there won't be a button where he hardens and he's hardening for like 12 seconds. I doubt they'll do that. He'll probably just harden up, mid a combo, and then do some of his moves, and then he'll have, uh, you know, his ultimate unbreakable. Because he's like, he's like the fourth popular person right behind Tony Roki. So I wouldn't have him. He'll make a lot of money. Kirishima. Then I was thinking, huh. The, my hero is all about heroes and villains. If they don't have a villain yet. I was thinking all for one. Oh, like, nah, he's in jail. But you could say the same. Like, well, all my, he lost his powers. But they still brought him back in for some reason. So it could be all for one. But probably they're going to go with Sigaraki. Sigaraki would be the best choice for this. <coughs> Sorry. Uh, I need to drink some. Sigaraki would be the best choice for this. He's uh, the most. He, he's going crazy in the manga right now. And the anime. I think the next season. Yeah, next season. He's going to go crazy too in the next season. That's wild. So it'll be pretty good marketing. Yeah, he'll probably have his new design with the jacket on. Not his old design with all the hands on him. Um, his ult probably gets decay to ground. Or he'll grab you and just do it gets decay everything. He's, you know, a close-range fighter. It won't be any long-range attacks. Or he has none, really. I kept, you know, I, and this isn't, like the, this isn't pertaining to the, um, you know, thing. But I always thought, like, his hands that he has on his arms, I always thought that, <clears throat> I always thought that, um, I think one hand on his face or on the back of his neck had, like, these red tubes on it. So I was like, what if he throws, like, what if he grabs a tube and throws it and it touches something? And then that decays. I always thought that could be a cool long range attack, but he doesn't have any. <clears throat> ah, my bad. But he doesn't have any. Woo! I can talk now. Ooh, my bad. Before I couldn't talk. Whoa. Whew. Okay, so yeah, they don't they don't have a villain. I I, I can also see maybe maybe Dobby. Because Blue Fire be really cool and the jump force graphics. But they probably go with Sigaraki. And then obviously I would love to have Kirishima. You already know. Uh, other than that, if they add another Joe, Joe was our adventure character. I wanted to be Obang Joseph for this season, but it's not a journal. If they do it again, I can probably see Old Man Joseph this time. They I they might do Josuke, but you know, Old Man Joseph would be pretty dope. They already got part three in there. Might as well, you know, have the grandpa and then you know. 
be dope, make a lot of money. Uh, I put Yuno you know, and Yami in there. I don't watch Black Clover, but you know, Black Clover, I heard is like, I hear a lot of, you know, it's pretty popular. It's booming. They should have had more than just one character on the roster. I can see them bringing in Yuno, know, and maybe, maybe they're bringing like two, so probably Yuno know, and Yami, because those are like the two most characters I always hear about. Well, I always, I always hear about them two, and, um, Water Girl, Noel. Always hear about Noel. You mean Yami also the three most requested characters I keep hearing about from everybody <laughs> I watch from. That's pretty wild. Uh, so probably them three. And then that was it, wasn't it? I think that was it from what I had on the list that I had it on. Yeah, that's that's everybody I had. I also heard some people wanted, was thinking about this this black dude in Yu-Gi-Oh! Which is like the main villain or whatever. So that'd be, they said... They said it's sort of like, I think they said like Yumi, Yugi, Yugi had like the Slifer Sky Dragon that he has. And then yeah, Kaiba has the Blue Eyes White Dragon. And then that black dude that's a villain, he has some other dragons. So that's like the Dragon Egyptian Trio, uh, you know, that's it for them. You know, they were saying like, I don't know too much, but I heard that on somebody's video. So they were like, that's going to be a good stopping point for the Yu-Gi-Oh franchise, have him. And then boom, have the three dragons. So I'm like, okay, that, that could make sense. Uh, I was thinking they could bring in some of the old franchises that were in J Stars, like Madaka, Psyche, um, <clears throat> what was another one? Suna from, what was his anime called? Him and Reborn. But I was like, eh, I doubt it. I doubt they'll do that, but maybe. Might surprise us. Uh, I heard some people saying that um, Dragon Quest might get another character because the anime is getting redone and it's out now. This is going to be good marketing. And apparently, in the base roster, they were supposed to have another Dragon Quest person, but they cut him or her. No, yeah, I think it was her. And then they cut somebody else from the Pegasus anime. <clears throat> they cut somebody else from the Pegasus anime that was supposed to be in the base roster. They also cut two more Bleaks characters that were supposed to be in the base roster. So I doubt they do Bleaks again. Dragon Quest, that's a maybe. Pegasus, that's also a maybe because I doubt, like, you know, I don't think anybody can be like, whoa, we just get it. Add another Pegasus character? I'm buying him day one. Like, I don't really see a lot of people hyping him up. Hunter x Hunter, they got a good, they got a good roster now. I don't really need it anymore. Um, that was about it, right? Cause I was like, they got Naruto. Yeah, I did Naruto already. Death Note don't need nobody else. They can't get they, nobody fights in Death Note. No, uh, Hunter X Hunter's good. Fist of the No Star. I don't really know anybody in there but that dude, the main dude that's in there. So I don't know. You go wild with that. You go wild with that. Uh, other than that, that's everybody. So like, share, subscribe, and thank you all for watching. Thumbs up to all you wonderful, beautiful, and handsome human beings out there. Thank you for being wonderful human beings. I'll see you guys next time. Like, share, subscribe. Goodbye. Is that really everybody though? Just want to make sure. Someone just grab me. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know who to have for Kenshin. Oh yeah, that's right. I was thinking like I would like Kamenari in this game too. They can come in Ari, but I was like, eh, that's kind of pushing it. I doubt if they do that, it has to be like season eight. Well, not, not, not season eight. Probably like season five, they do another My Hero character, but I doubt it. Because I, I really do like Kamenari. Azara would be pretty cool. They want like another teacher in there, but they already got All Might. And yeah, really. Oh, another villain. I was thinking about Stain for like another villain besides Dami Sigaraki. They could do Stain. He'll look really dope in this, and he'll be like a long range and a close range, and it's all. It would have to be, have to be uh, worked on a lot because sort of like, like biscuits ult every once he hits you the first time, your character falls over and the eyes are closed and you look up like, huh? They have to animate that for every single person when they get hit with that ult. So that probably took a minute to do. So if they do do that where he's staying, cuts you, he licks you. And they go, ah, they have to animate every single person going, ah, like that. So that might take a minute. But hey, it would look dope. It would look so dope. So yeah. See you all next time. <laughs>
I'll see you all next time. Bye. Sorry if I my voice. <clears throat> Every time I do this, uh, you know, I was my voice was kind of low until like the nine minute mark when I clean my throat. But you know, that's probably loud for you. So my bad. My bad.